looks ridiculous. This is what happens when you throw your hair up in a bun for two days and don't brush it. <laughs> Hi everyone! So I feel like it's been a really long time since I've done like a colorful, creative eye makeup look. In fact, I honestly don't even remember the last time I did. I've just been so wrapped up in like neutral eyes lately that I've kind of forgotten just how much I love using color on my eyes. So the look that I'm doing today is one that I actually saw probably on Pinterest two years ago and I always loved this type of color combination and it's very peacock inspired. So we've got blues and greens and purples and pinks and it's just really bold. I love it and if you're going to be wearing this much color it might as well be during the summer. I had to film this tutorial twice which is why I'm kind of like err because the first time um, I totally screwed up my eyeliner and I did that thing. You know that meme that goes around uh, in the makeup community online where it's like oh I got to even out my eyeliner. Oh now this one's too thick and then it just keeps like building and building. That's exactly what happened in the first version of this video and I was so frustrated so this is my second time. I really hope you like it and let's get started. For a base, I'm using the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in Eternal White. I'm putting that all over the lid and then I'm going to blend out and up with my finger. It's so important to blend this seamlessly because it is on the drier side so we don't want it to make our eyeshadow patchy. I'm taking the Collection 1 Eyeshadow Palette from City Color Cosmetics and I'm going to use this magenta shade with a fluffy blending brush and apply that in my crease and blend it a little bit upwards towards the bottom of my brow bone. Next I'm taking this royal purple and I'm actually going to switch to my e.l.f. crease brush which is more like a pencil brush and I'm going to focus that right in my crease and outer corner. Next I'm going to pick up some of this matte black on the same pencil brush and apply that in my outer V just so I can add some more depth and uh, darken up that outer corner. I picked up some more of that royal purple on my blending brush and I'm just going over the black to make it look a little bit less out of place and more soft so it just looks like a deep, deep purple in my crease. Now I'm picking up this mid-tone blue with a flat shader brush and I'm going to pat that on the outer portion of my lid just to the inside of my outer V. And now I'm grabbing this lime green and I'm going to put that on the middle of my lid with the same patting motion. I'm going to try to make that blue and green connect better by flipping my brush continuously and wiggling the color in between the two shades and now I'm just deepening up that blue. Now I'm grabbing this yellow green and I'm going to pat that into my inner corner. And now I'm bringing that same royal purple down on that same pencil brush onto my lower lash line. And for a highlight, I'm using this sheer white under my brow bone, as usual. So now I'm taking the Scandalize Coal Pencil from Rimmel in black, and I'm using that to line my lower waterline and my upper waterline. And I'm turning to my trusty NYX Collection Noir Liquid Black Liner to make a pretty crisp cat eye. So I already curled my lashes, now I'm grabbing the Great Lash Mascara from Maybelline and I'm putting that on pretty generously. And then I'm taking the Forever 21 Love and Beauty Lashes, these are like $1.50, I really like them. And I let the glue get tacky and now I'm applying them just to my outer corner, they're kind of half lashes. They just give us a really dramatic outer corner flare. And I'm using the tweezers to press together the lashes and my lashes to kind of make them look more integrated. And the look is completed. Mwahaha. 
Okay, that is the finished look. I think that this eye makeup will look really great on anybody with brown eyes like myself because all of the cool tones really make them pop. But if you have blue eyes, try it too because I'm sure it'll look awesome on you. Please let me know in the comments below what videos you want to see next, whether it be tutorials or reviews. Um, I noticed lately, kind of like looking at my channel, that I haven't done review videos in a while. I've been doing a lot of my reviews written on my blog. So if you want me to start bringing more reviews back onto my channel, then I definitely will. What is this? What is that? Is that a curl? Is it a wave? I don't know. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe and join me on my social network so we can chat. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!